was bringing in a lot of hype, she moves the needle and she gets incredible traffic. But, you know, coming into this fight, what were you expecting from her and how did the fight play out in terms of you know, your anticipation for it? Uh, I knew I was better on the ground. I expected a bit more from her standing. Um, in our previous fights, uh, there's been an awful lot more pressure. Uh, she's come forwards a lot more. So it was a bit hard, so like, waiting for something that didn't really happen. So I had to go to her a bit more. Um, and I don't know what game plan was. Um, possibly clinching, but that didn't seem to work out very well for her. Do you think it was because of your ability on the ground that made her pensive? So she was um, a lot more cautious in terms of uh, pressuring you? I hope so. Um, I know Bellator said going into this that um, I think on Twitter she had three wins by submission out of five. I think it's only two, but um, yeah, she was never going to submit me. Um, I could feel it, like she just didn't have the jiu jitsu for it. Were you surprised by, I guess, her toughness at points? You looked to be in some very good positions, you were very close on a few chokes, but you know, she, she was a very game competitor. Do you think it would come easier, maybe? Um, not necessarily. I mean, she was super tough. Um, she kept moving. Uh, she did what she needed to do to stay in the fight. I think maybe another 10, 20 seconds, the end of the third round, um, the position I had, I, you know, belly down, I would have finished her. But I didn't get that early enough. But um, yeah, my jiu-jitsu worked, so. <laughs> What's kind of the situation, I guess, with contract-wise at the moment? Are you signed to Bellator, um, you know, uh, solely, or are you, uh, are yeah. you able to go elsewhere? As far as I'm aware, it's exclusive. Um, I've had three fights out of four, so I guess it's up to my manager to um, go from here, really. Do you feel like the development of the women's division in Bellator has been progressing well? Yeah, I'm really impressed. Um, I mean, I've fought three times since August, and that's after I asked for time off at the start of this year so that I could do some of the um, sort of big European jiu-jitsu competitions as well. So. Um, yeah, it's, the division seems to be moving nicely. And where do you see yourself in terms of the entire structure of that? Near the top. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, there's some big fights, I think, coming up next month, possibly, in the division. So I guess it depends how they go, really. Title on the mind? Uh, yes, I'd like uh, I'd like one of the women um, on who are fighting. I think there are four of them um, on the next card, or whatever card next, that has them on anyway. Um, I wouldn't mind one of those. Of course the win's always important, but how important was it to face someone like that that has that hype riding uh, going into the fight? And do you think that you could maybe steal some of the limelight off her now? I don't know. I suspect quite a lot of her following's Russian, um, so perhaps not. But um, yeah, it's good exposure and I mean, she's, she's super tough, she's got good striking, but I, I'm far more experienced and she just hasn't fought anyone um, like me yet, so I just Oh, it's highly unlikely that um, she'd beat me, so yeah, it's nice to <laughs> derail the hype train. Uh, any last questions? Okay. Thank you, Kate. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.